have a very interesting childhood. Actually, I write a book about it because um, in my book, I wrote about uh, me being sent to Singapore in which I uh, experienced child abuse uh, through my teacher and how I became obese in the age of teenagers and then I became anorexic after that and how I get through all of that and pursue my dream and to become a stronger, healthier person. In that book, I write about how we can overcome challenges and our past uh, story and to become a better person to still also have good vision for our life. I think it makes me a stronger person. It makes me humble. It makes me believe that everyone has second chances, believe that everyone has the chance to grow. And actually, it makes me believe that your past is not an excuse for you not to success in life. When I was in the media, I because I won the Miss Indonesia and automatically I'm being signed to join one of the biggest TV stations here in Indonesia. And from there the journey starts and I actually enjoy my job so much. After 10 years, um, my father was also have a lot of discussion with me on how we want to take this business to the next level and uh, to the next generation as well. I think this is the time for me to go back and handle the responsibility. So the Olympic group, the furniture, has been existing for 35 years in the furniture business. So now we also diversified our business, not just in furniture. Now we have a industrial estate, uh, we do export and we do general contracting and I'm now in charge of our project in property business. that's the most important thing in leadership is to always stay objective because when you stay objective then your people around you believe that you make the right decision through a lot of things that's going on that's one of the most important thing in leadership and the second is always to make sure that the people around you grow with you and um, number three I think is in leadership is to make sure that the team work as a team I, I always say to them the leaders is like the eyes of the body. We always see the vision, we always see what we're gonna go through and what we want to be in the next few years. But I say, uh, I cannot work alone and I cannot think alone. So I need my hands, I need my legs and everyone to work together so we can always walk together towards our vision. That's one of the, uh, one of the things that I always implement in the, in the company.